France experienced its worst daily death toll from COVID-19 on Monday, with 833 people dying. Trying to find ways to battle the coronavirus is top of the government's agenda. President Emmanuel Macron is in Marseille to visit the controversial figure Dr Didier Raoult. The physician was one of the first in the world to claim that the drug hydroxychloroquine is effective in fighting COVID-19. Our international correspondent, Danalise Borges, explains why Dr. Raoult is such a divisive figure. Didier Raoult is a microbiologist with a long and respected career in research of infectious diseases here in France, but who has become a divisive figure since the start of the COVID-19 epidemic here in France because he has been one of the first to advocate for and to administer the hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 patients and to talk about how uh, successful he had been in this treatment, especially if administered in a combination with an antibiotic and in the early stages of the disease. He's spoken about perhaps finding the solution to this crisis, but his critics were very quick to point to problems with the protocol of his testing, saying that they were not conducted in a scientific way, there was not enough people in that research and that the results were merely observational. They also pointed out to possible dangerous side effects. Why is Emmanuel Macron meeting with this doctor now and is anything expected to come out of their meeting? Well, the government has been very cautious and has asked people to remain very careful with regards to this drug. They said that this is in the early stages of the studies that this drug, they have authorized this drug to be tested, but just as they are testing other alternatives to this epidemic. But of course, this is a symbolic meeting. Many people here in France want to see the government give this treatment a chance. And as many as 400,000 people have signed a petition online urging uh, French officials to let more doctors prescribe the hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 treatment. But of course, the scientific community here remains very, very careful with regards to how it describes this pill. It's not a miracle cure yet. However, Oliver, and that is important to note, Sanofi, the world's one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical company, whose headquarters is uh, are here in Paris, have said that they are ready to give hydroxychloroquine free of charge.